My name is Mpo. I grew up with my grandmother and I'm from a traditional background as well as Christian. So at home we'll practice traditional ceremonies and also go to church on Sunday. My father was an Inyanga, so since I was a little girl, I also used to have dreams. And I will see mostly past relatives. I will then narrate it to my grandmother and she will explain that it's because I have a calling. It started to get rife when I was doing grade nine. And then my mother took me to a doctor because I was sick. And then the doctor said they can't see anything wrong with me. And then a friend of his invited over to an Inyanga for a reading and she went with me. And then the Inyanga confirmed that I was getting all these illnesses because I was called by an ancestor. The Inyanga said then we can appease the ancestors instead. So we made a Mukete, which is a ritual to appease ancestors. And then they asked the ancestors on my behalf for them to wait for me until I finish my high school and I finish my uh, college. So I decided to then go again to consult to the same Inyanga and then she said this thing will continue to happen with me until I accept my calling as an Inyanga. So that's how we started the ritual of Ukutwaza, which is a process of you getting ready. They prepare you to be initiated. And I remember the lady who was helping me, she prepared a bath for me, which is a sign of accepting that now I'm ready to be initiated. And then they also gave me articles that I need to have at home as a practice. So every time I will go into my room, I will call upon the ancestors. I was taught that I need to call the dead spirit or the river spirits. They are the ones who will then give me guidance. I was also required to go to the gravesite. So I will take a candle with me and then burn umpepu and a, a traditional beer, which is umkumboti. So it was part of the ritual. I was fearful, especially because of the dreams that I will get. I will sometimes dream about my past relatives, especially my grandmother and my aunt. I was given a choice to choose between my ancestors and there was this gentleman also sitting down on my bed. And I remember when I looked at my grandmother and my aunt, there was this terrifying feeling about it and I couldn't choose them. For a reason, I managed to choose this calming spirit with this gentleman. He had the, you know, like a light, glorious robe. And then I will see also myself sometimes being drawn to a river and I will see myself walking towards and they will be right next to the river. And every time when I will get close enough to get into, I will wake up. I wouldn't have peace myself because sometimes I will find myself speaking to myself when people will be watching me. So I was also searching for God, but I didn't know how to get there until I listened to this preacher who made it clear that the only way to God is through Christ Jesus. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. As I was listening to him, he was teaching mostly about the things that I was doing, like consulting the dead and having your own high place, which is the thing that God doesn't want us to do. And I remember having this fear also in my heart that I really need to, you know, search the scriptures more and find out what is really there that I'm doing that God wasn't really happy about. So I remember accepting Christ Jesus after following a prayer that you need to confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. And then I prayed a prayer of salvation. I took all the articles of Okutwaza and then I took a shaver, also shaved my head and then I burned everything because I wanted to renounce the practice and it was like a new beginning for me. And when I accepted Christ, I managed to find, you know, my spiritual healing that I was longing for. As a person, I felt 
really liberating like I was being taken out of prison so now instead of thinking what I used to think I'm thinking what the Word of God is concerning my life what do I need to do that is pleasing to God and the Bible says it is only by faith that I can please God not by works not by rituals not by calling ancestors or appeasing them or giving them sacrifices it's only by you know following what the word of god is saying that i can live a new life